Good day guys, nice to have you here. Killing Spree is one of my favorite talents on Argus because it's both an offensive and defensive emblem talent due to the fast movement speed it provides after getting a kill. This makes either chasing for another kill or escaping much easier. Recently though, Killing Spree was nerfed on the advanced server which prompted me to try many experiments. I tried different emblems but I just wasn't satisfied with the results. Then it hit me. What if I change my build? So I remembered building Argus before with equipment focused on cooldown reduction in order to abuse his ultimate. This video is one of those experimental games and today I will show you a build that abuses both his ultimate and his second skill. Before we continue though, I want to give my shoutouts to Lico Knight Gaming. He too hosts a YouTube channel, so make sure to give him some love. Please excuse my game if I keep stop moving. I was experiencing very high ping on this game and I was troubleshooting it while I was playing. Before, we used to start this build with War Axe. Since it was nerfed, this is no longer our damage engine. Instead, it'll only be a support item for Argus, which is why I got him Hunter Strike first. Some people may not be aware of Hunter Strike's potential especially on the early game. Not only does it give high physical damage, it also increases your movement speed after gaining stacks. This is going to be followed by magic shoes in order to improve our cooldown reduction. One of the issues of this build is its inefficiency in terms of taking the enemy hero down on the early game, which is why you should practice using Argus abilities especially his first skill. Unlike other builds with faster attack speed, this build will only be successful if you're able to incapacitate your target using your first skill's stun effect. As you might have observed, Freezing has caused Karita so much issues, and she responded aggressively. Guys, remember that kills aren't everything. Make sure to use your skills wisely. Focus on last hitting minions especially if you're using a mana reliant hero like Karita. Don't just keep spamming your skills mindlessly. On the first 5 minutes, just focus on last hitting minions. Next item will be War Axe. This will further help us maintain fast movement speed and improve our cooldown reduction and of course provide physical damage penetration. With this item, Argus will be more efficient in maximizing the effects of his second skill. The world born in darkness will end in darkness. Than me, I'm afraid it would be rough. Emma. I am the only an enemy. Also, if you guys aren't aware yet, Argus Ultimate is not usable against suppression anymore. As you can see, my ultimate was crossed out after Kaja used his ultimate on Argus. Now here's the beauty of this build. Notice how fast ultimate's cooldown is. That means it will be available again on our next encounter. Earlier I used it to protect myself. This time I will use it to try and kill Kaja. Considering that I was only ahead by one level, I didn't expect Kaja to die so quickly which caused me to use my ultimate. At that moment his passive would have been available. Better safe than sorry I guess. Next item is Berserker's Fury. This will further drive our offense and since we have two physical items that have decent physical damage penetration, even if they were physical defensive items, we will still be able to deliver high amounts of damage. Triple kill! Your team 
destroy the turret. Bye, have a great time. And just like that, my ultimate will be available yet again. This time, we will get Demon Hunter Sword. It'll help us gain some attack speed, which the previous items does not provide. This will be followed by Wind Talker, which will be our main attack speed driver, and another equipment that will help improve our mobility. Oh goodness, with this secret buff they gave suppression, you should all be extra careful whenever you have enemies with such crowd control. Don't worry, I'll make sure they suffer once I get back. Be ready for my fury! That concludes our Mobile Legends content for today. This build is still under observation and experimentation and will be in the next weeks or so. Once I tried it on the original server which has a more realistic setting, I will definitely upload a video. What other items do you think can work on this build? Let me know in the comment section below and if you haven't yet, don't forget to hit like, share and subscribe. Stay safe everyone. Peace.